Yes, there is a challenge at the beginning to make it, you know, the adaptability and the people accepting the new concepts of district cooling was, was challenging. But after experienced it and used it for many years and seeing the benefits and recognize also the difference on the climate, it's really, it's really has an impact and change. And also the understanding of the government and the legislation, it's really helped us to grow the concept of district cooling all over UAE, not only in Dubai. Specifically, we have focused on the new developed project with the master developer like Dubai Holding, Nakhil, the rest of them. And we work closely with them to, to bring the saving which district cooling added to the project and the value also to the customer. The education for district cooling is really important, which we are taking care of it. The government is strongly believe on district cooling as a main pillar of the uh, green buildings initiatives. And also it's linked to Dubai integrated strategy for energy. It's really helped us a lot. And also the developer themselves strongly believe that the district cooling, it's one of their key pillars to go on very efficient way. Using it, teaching people, this is will continue in the process of empower and we will uh, work with our stake partners to increase the utilization of district cooling. Where we find ourselves in Qatar, uh, it's quite, maybe it's quite different because we're a private entity, so we're trying to convince government entities that this is the best um, uh, industry there is for the business. And we're finding uh, some, some bottlenecks in trying to convince them that it's an integrated system that needs to be put all together because their concern is not ne necessarily the energy itself, but the water supply. Mm -hmm. um, so it's actually paramount to any district provider to uh, really engage with the government itself, uh, more so than the consumers and the developers, um, and, and try to explain to them the benefits that we bring, not necessarily uh, to the environment per se, but to the government as a whole. Uh, th there is an important aspect to district cooling uh, uh, that, that comes from the fact that it's a utility. So collaboration between uh, the government as, as, as regulators and the uh, uh, private companies that invest in, 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 uh, in district cooling is essential, absolutely essential to the growth of healthy uh, utility. Uh, when you set up a utility, the, 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 the individual users are locked in with providers. So there is, there is room for conflict and there is room for uh, tension between these parties. So the government has a role uh, to play in, in facilitating this uh, in, in many ways. Okay? And, and it starts really from, from, from the start in, in, in inducing people to go into uh, district cooling by providing infrastructure that, that makes it uh, patently obvious that going with district cooling, you benefit yourself and you benefit the environment. This is not a role that uh, an individual company can do. Government also can help a lot by uh, 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 playing a role in, in financing uh, district cooling. As, as a utilities, all utilities are very heavy in upfront investment and they're great generators of cash in the end. Okay. Now, again here, if the government doesn't uh, play a, a role in, in easing off the, the tension and the pressure of initial investment, then growth will be stifled. The driver today in, in uh, Dubai and UAE is the real estate driven mm -hmm. and to find a sustainable solution to reduce the cost of operation in the long term. But the, the, the master key question that was really raised from the end user, I'm not feeling the uh, level of cost saving that has been done. This what we are working today, hand by hand, with the government to make this saving tangible.